Well, I gotta say the timing of this sponsored video couldn't be more perfect because my wife and I will be starting our seasonal camping trip soon. So instead of watching movies and shows at night while in bed with my laptop, like resting on my chest like some pleb, I can break out a projector screen and use Nebula's new Transformers Edition Capsule 3 portable laser projector. So, moving through the Transformers themed box, there's a quick start guide, remote and batteries, power brick with USB-C cable, and of course the laser projector. Now, from what I understand, Nebula was the first brand to stuff laser projector tech into something as small as like a soda can with their first version. But now with the third version, even though it's a bit bigger because of hardware improvements, it's still only slightly bigger than like a can of compressed air or pretty much the size of your standard Bluetooth speaker. Speaking of Bluetooth speaker, it's got an eight watt speaker built in complete with Dolby Digital Plus. So you can use it solely as a speaker if you wanted. And if you do, you're looking at about 10 hours of music on a single charge. Now going on a quick tour for ports, we've got auxiliary, HDMI 2.1, USB-C for power or for external storage. And above that is the infrared receiver, mode button and power button. Now at the top, we've got some capacitive touch control and on the bottom, we've got a rubber base with standard threading for mounting to something like a tripod. Now on the front, we've got the 1080p laser projector lens, which outputs 300 ANSI lumens, has a 0.5 to 3.5 meter throw distance with a maximum screen focus size of 120 inches. And below the projector lens is the camera for autofocus and auto keystone, which makes life a lot easier when setting up. So for example, if you can't set up the Capsule 3 directly in front of your screen, you can set it up in different locations and as long as it's pointed at the screen, it'll autofocus and auto keystone for you. So you don't have to get all frustrated trying to focus and correct the image yourself. But aside from that, we've also got Bluetooth 5.0 and dual band Wi-Fi for wireless connectivity. Now with the Capsule 3 powered up, we're running Android TV 11. So you can cast content from your phone to the projector like you normally would with a Chromecast. Uh, you've got access to the Google Play Store, which means you can download all the streaming apps you want. And of course, you can even connect a Bluetooth gaming controller and play Android games right off the projector. Uh, we do get some device settings like brightness adjustments with a battery saver mode, picture adjustments with some advanced settings, and some manual image correction and keystone adjustment options too, in case you needed them. So firing up some content, I was really happy to see that darker scenes still have good detail in the shadows, but the colors in brighter scenes is probably like the most impressive image quality aspect to me. Super vivid, super bright. And everything's nice and sharp with really good clarity too. And all of that's thanks to the impressive laser driver tech we've got here, which even though it's more expensive than an LED projector, isn't just brighter with equal wattage consumption. It also has a higher color accuracy, better contrast, and it'll last longer than LED projectors. So for example, as LED lumens start to fade around the three year mark, your laser projector will still be going strong with the same consistent lumens as the day you bought it. So you don't have to go out and buy a new projector after just a few years. Now with its 14,500 milliamp hour battery, like I mentioned earlier, you can use the Capsule 3 as a Bluetooth speaker with up to 10 hours of playtime, and while projecting content up to two and a half hours. But if you need some extra battery, you could always connect a power bank and with 20,000 milliamp hour power banks being the most common power bank capacity, that's another two and a half to three hours of watch time. Now, you'll obviously want to have some reasonable expectations with a projector this small. Like, yes, it's laser. Yes, it produces bright and colorful images in a dark environment. But as ambient light starts to come into the scene, the image does start to fade. And of course, having a resolution of 1080p, you probably don't want to push that maximum screen focus size and instead keep it to something smaller like 60 inches or so for the best sharpness and color brightness. But yeah, this is one sweet little projector. I love how small it is. So I can just like toss it in my duffel bag when I go camping or when I'm staying at a friend's house or like at a hotel, instead of having no TV or even those crappy ones, I can break this little dude out and get not only a larger picture, but in most situations, better picture quality, all from something the size of like a water bottle. However, if you did want to go big or go home, Nebula's Cosmos Laser 4K projector is just what the doctor ordered. This thing is nuts. Now, while it is still sort of portable with its sturdy handle at the top and weighing in at about 10 pounds, it does need to be plugged in for power. But you know, that makes perfect sense when it's pumping out 1840 ANSI lumens of 4K laser goodness. On the top of the rear, we've got capacitive touch controls. On the back at the bottom, we've got HDMI, USB for mass storage devices, and auxiliary out. On the front, we've got four sensors. Uh, one of them's an ambient light sensor, one of them's an IR receiver, and the other two are for the autofocus and keystone. Uh, by the way, we've got a couple of 10 watt speakers and a couple of five watt tweeters built into the sides with the cooling fans. And firing it up, we've got Android 
TV so you can cast content from your phone, download apps and use the Google Assistant just like you would on the Capsule 3. But with the Cosmos, you'll instantly notice a super bright output. So colors and saturation look great and contrast is punchy. And of course, with 4K, images are nice and sharp. It even still looks great with some ambient light introduced to the environment. But like all projectors, you know, the darker the environment, the better the image quality. Now doing the math, it has a throw distance of 1.7 to 4.2 meters with a maximum screen focus size of 150 inches, which I imagine is plenty big enough for the majority of people. Uh, we've also got some Support for Dolby Digital Plus as well as HDR10, which shouldn't come as a surprise considering the high lumen output. So firing up some Netflix HDR content works and looks great. Like honestly, the camera does not do it justice. It's got a really, really impressive image quality. Like this is this is a nice piece of kit, man. So yeah, it's a serious projector for people who are serious about their viewing experience. So yeah, anyways, they're both pretty sweet laser projectors, which you'll find a ton of other positive reviews on. So if you're interested in buying either, uh, both the standard Black Capsule 3 and the Transformers Edition, which is limited to only 4,000 units worldwide, are $120 off until the 30th of April, so the end of the month. And if you're interested in the Cosmos Laser 4K projector, if you use the discount code Cosmos Laser on Amazon, you'll get $400 off. So I'll have some links in the description below for you to check out. But yeah, I think that about does it for this one. Uh, make sure you subscribe, otherwise you'll miss out on my next video. But thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.